All right, so let's take a look at Excel's sum ifs formula. Now, notice that I said sum ifs with an s on it. And this is this is a little bit different than the sum if formula. Okay, there, th this function here. Well, if you know in the sum if formula or the sum if function, and I have a video on it. You can search a range of cells to meet a certain criteria. Okay. Well, with the sum ifs, you can search several ranges to meet different criteria. So you can see here we have the sum ifs, and then the the first variable is the sum range. This is the range that we want to sum up, which in this case is going to be this one. And then the uh, criteria range 1 that's the first range that I'm going to look in to meet this criteria and then the criteria range 2 that's the second range that I'm going to look up a different criteria and so on okay and Excel in in this one it'll let you look up uh, I think you can you can do up to about 127 of these uh, criteria range one and criteria one so that would be one pair and then criteria criteria range two criteria two that would be two pairs and Excel lets you do a hundred and twenty seven pairs I don't know when you would ever use something like that but you, you can do up to that many uh, the most I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do up to three okay all right so let's Let's get rid of this right here. I'm going to put my formulas down here. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the number of Fords sold by Bob. All right. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and drag it down here because if I, if I try to type the formula up here, uh, in this cell, I think it'll, it's going to run off the screen. So I'm going to come down here so we'll have plenty of room so you can see the formula. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start the formula. So I'm going to hit equals, and then I'll type in sum, and you notice it comes up right here. So I can double click this. All right, so now I need the sum range. Well. Here's my sum range right here. Okay, so that would be my sum range. And then I need my range, my criteria range one. Okay, so I'm looking for forwards. So I'll be looking for that in. Whoop, let me do that again. Let me do my sum range, and then you have to put a comma okay and then I'm looking for the forwards in this range so I'll highlight this range and I want it to search for forwards so I'll put a comma and you can see here I'm on criteria one still well I did my criteria range one and now I'm do, putting my criteria one so it has to be a forward so the forward I have to put in quotes and so that'll be forward, close my quotes, and a comma. So there's my first set of criteria. And now the second criteria, it has to be sold by Bob. So where am I going to look that up? Well, that's in this range. So here's my criteria range 2. Okay, and then I'll put a comma, and it's going to search for only Bob. And so I have to put Bob in quotes. And I close my quotes. And then I can close my parentheses and hit enter. And that's the amount of Fords that Bob sold. Okay. All right. So let's look at another one. This time I want to look up. I want to add the amount of sales of Nissans, but I don't want to include the Versa. Okay, so it's excluding the Versa. Let's drag this down here. 
All right. So I'll hit equals and sum if. So there's the sum ifs. So I'll double click. All right. So the range I want to sum is this one. And then I'll put a comma. Okay. So the criteria, it has to be a Nissan. Okay. So this is the range that it's going to search and I'll put a comma and it has to be a Nissan so I'll put the Nissan in quotes and close my quotes comma and so what it's going to do is going to pull all the Nissans out and so notice all of these are ne all the ones that are Nissans but what, it, but what I'm going to do is you see the Versa here and the Versa here. It's going to pull those amounts out and not sum it. Okay. And so my criteria range 2 would be this one. Okay. And so comma. And now I want to exclude Nissans. So I want it to to sum all the ones that are Nissans but not Versa. So the way that we exclude it is the little arrows. Okay, you put the arrows in like like this right here. Okay, that means don't include or exclude it. And then, okay, but first, let's see, I gotta put that in quotes. and that would be the Versa. And then I'll close my parentheses. Okay. And then I hit enter. And that's the sum of all the Nissans that are not Versas. So basically what it did is it summed, let's see, where's Nissan? Here's here's all the see there's a Nissan but it didn't include that one there's a Nissan it didn't include that one so all it did is it included those okay all right <coughs> all right so let's take a look at one more this time it's going to be one that meets three criteria okay so I want to sum all the Nissan verses that were sold by Bill. Okay. So equals sum ifs. Okay. So my sum range, these are the cells I want it to add. Okay. So now I put in my condition. So comma. Okay. Criteria range one, it has to be a Nissan. So it's going to look in this range for the Nissans comma and then I tell it that it has to equal the Nissan and so I'll put Nissan in quotes okay. <coughs> excuse me so that's criteria range one right here and then criteria one and then my second criteria, it has to be a Versa. So it's going to look in this column for the Versa. And then I put my criteria. So in quotes, I want it to be a Versa. Okay. And so there's my second criteria. And then comma. And now my third criteria. So it has to be sold by bill. And so it has to search this column for bill. And I'll put a comma and then in quotes I'll put bill close my quotes and then close my parentheses. And so then I hit enter and there's my 13,000. Okay? And you can see the only versa that was sold by bill it was just this one and that's all it did. See it didn't it didn't sum this versa that was sold by Fred. Okay. 
and then Bill also, Bill also, you can see here, sold Mustang and Escape, but it didn't include those. Okay, it met all three of the criteria that I specified: a Nissan Versa sold by Bill. All right, so I hope this video's helped. Uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. I'm going to be posting some more Excel functions. Uh, if you like them, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.